people like you from our culture actually try to monetize people's personal business. And that's not all right. And we have to have some accountability for that. How are we going to move forward if we keep trying to push each other backwards? Understood. Like, you just heard me get off the phone with my daughter. You want to stimulate a conversation like that? What's wrong with you? You know I'm about to go see my daughter. So what, you want me to be mad at my daughter for your personal entertainment? Absolutely. That's the stuff we need to stop doing with each other. You should be ashamed of yourself for that. Thanks for the interview. You're quite welcome. The next big thing happens. The next big thing happens July 9th on BET. You can check it out. Thank you, Damon Dash, for stopping through. It's Radio Free 102.3 KJLH. All right. There was something to be learned from the interview. So I do feel like the you know the, the, the listening audience could take some gems from that. Yeah. Um, oh, she says about it. Yeah, that's crazy. It said, I Googled Dame Dash Storms out and I got several links. Yeah, so so clearly, I listen to that. This, this is his thing, storming out. Uh, he, he likes to go out with a bang. So he did that uh, uh, on, on the Tammy Mac show. But I guess I have been Damon dashed. You have been dashed. Yes, I have. That's a good company. A lot of people have been dashed. Hashtag mad dash. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good hashtag. I love it. There it is. If you want to see the end of the interview with me and Damon Dash, uh, you can follow me on the Tammy Mac Show. I've got video. I've got the video on uh, my Instagram, the Tammy Mac Show. T A M M I M A C. I don't. I don't know if KJLH will put it up or not. But um, at Radio Free. Okay. Wow. He was okay. Go ahead. I love that. Yeah, they deserved to storm out. I'm sure, they did. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to put everything back together, and uh, <laughs> I went up there and talked to Tammy, and I just talked to Dane to see if we can mend the situation because of how he feels about his own kids and how oh. people exploit child support. Yeah, that dinner for. I done her for earlier today. Yeah. Uh, Blessed so. are the peacemakers. Hmm? Blessed are the peacemakers. Yeah. So it's when it's personal and uh, people take it out of content. Yeah. Uh, they they don't understand and and because Tammy Mac is who she is and rightfully so. When people get on talk shows. Yeah. S certain people do talk shows and they ride on the talk shows bandwagon and can that criticize the correct way okay mm -hmm. so when you listening to what's going on well people would tend to judge the other person wrong and criticize the person and not really understanding the whole picture yeah you're just looking at the picture, but then looking at the undercover. And that's where I come in at. You say, well, let's take a look at this. It's, it's no different from when, when Oprah's called my office for me to come do her show and I turned her down uh, for several reasons. But wow. the, the deal is people will listen to Oprah just because of who she is. And when they listen to me and take my side or when they take Oprah's side. I might take Oprah's majority. So, well, so it's like, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to set myself up. Yeah, no. For no bullshit, and I'm, I'm not looking for 15 minutes of fame. Yeah. So. Your integrity of what you do. You got to look at that as the whole picture when you're going on a show like that. Yeah. And am I still hurt? I could talk about everything else. This is now me talking about Dave Dash stuff. I can talk about everything else, and it's like I got everything together. But when you really come down to my own personal thing, you're attacking me and I'm more hurt than you're taking my hurt or I come off as angry and you take that as me being hurt. Yeah. And I even consider in context. Yeah. And just like when I was when I saw you or I met you the first night, you know. I already knew that you was covering something up. Yeah. <laughs> it was plain as day. I didn't want to push it. 
I could have pushed it. Yeah. But I saw, I knew it was there because when you told me about how I stopped, tell me how you. I'm gonna be honest with you. The whole situation with him walking out, she deserved that shit. And that's what I expect Dame to do. That's the Dame that I respect. That I know, I don't know him, but it's from what I've seen and witnessed and experienced. That seemed like some righteous shit. It's not like he wild out, walked out without a reason. He did regular Dame shit as far as standing up on some bullshit that he did not believe in and left you with some words of, of knowledge and fucking disappear from that shit. No reason to be around the negativity, especially when that shit don't make sense. And when it's all said and done, I respect him for that shit. And I know he'll do it again. That's what I would do. At the end of the day, we pulling each other down off of what? To get views and attention by discrediting one another? That's weak. Shout out to Dame. Dash on them niggas, man.